We're going to talk about dilutions, and here I've drawn two containers that contain some solution. Um, in a dilution, you might take one ml of this solution on the left and put it in with nine mls of water. In this case, water is what's considered our diluent. Diluent is the thing that's going to dilute the other solution. So that gives us 10 mLs total volume of our diluted solution. So, how is that described? This is where dilutions can get complicated. That can be described as 1 mL to 10 mLs total. It can be described as 1 mL to 9 mLs if you're looking at parts. So it's one part stock solution and nine parts diluent. It can be described as 1 in 10. That again tells you that 10 is the total volume. It can be described as a 1 to 10 dilution. It can be described as a 1 to 9 parts dilution. It can be described as a 1 tenth dilution because the starting volume is a tenth of the final volume. So, 1 ml out of 10 mls. It can be described as a tenfold dilution because the final is 10 times the starting or the dilution. Yeah, the starting volume. Or it can be described as a 10x dilution because it is 10 times diluted. So, that's a lot of ways to describe one dilution. And that's why it's really important anytime you're doing a dilution in the lab that you read the instructions, your, your operating procedure, whatever you've been given, really carefully because it's going to be different if you do, let's see, a one in nine to a one to nine parts because this is one ml plus eight mls and this is one ml plus 9 mLs. So it's important that you read really carefully how you're making that dilution and that you're aware of the ways that dilutions are described because this is going to have an entirely different concentration than this and so you don't want to use reagents, use things in the laboratory that are not the right concentration. So it's very important when you're reading to know what you're doing. Oftentimes in the lab, we're going to use the terminology of stock. We'll do one ml of stock and nine parts water, or nine mls. Uh, that's also just, if you have a one part stock, nine parts water. And again, you can go through 1 of 10, 1 tenth. So 
these are the ways that might be described. And you just want to be really careful that you're understanding how much diluent you're adding and how much of your stock solution or original solution.